When you're really heavy, as heavy as I was, there is no dating. It's just pretty much isolating, eating, staying depressed. You really don't let nobody in. Even if somebody likes you, you really don't give them a shot. I want my brother to be happy. As far as I'm concerned, if he is happy with a girl and he gets married, he's out of my hair. I will happily pass the baton to somebody else. So my brother apparently has a new girlfriend. This is my friend Karen G. Hi. And uh, I will be teaching her how to make uh, fresh mozzarella. My mom met the girlfriend the other night. She likes her. But she, first thing she said to me was, skinny, 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 skinny. She's so skinny, she's almost the size of my leg. My mom and my sister are setting up in the dining room where they're gonna have dinner with uh, Karen and me for the first time. I don't know if he's serious or not. This is the first girl Rico introduced me. I told Rico, make the mozzarella. Yeah. And he's making the mozzarella for the girl. For You're girl. kidding me. Oh, Jesus Christ on me. He's the pads. Well, he's trying to he's make it. He's the pads. Why don't you okay. sit down and help me fold the napkins, and then I'll put the napkins up. Fine. You want to put the blue anyway. But we can do a little, little design, but that's OK. You do like this. I'm doing the knife here. Shows the blue. Well, you know, I think I'll do it the way. Do it. I think I do different way. You don't like that way? No. We want to show the blue. Hail Mary, full of grace. God help me. Do whatever you want to do, go ahead. Let's fix the table. It's late. Go ahead, go ahead. We're not ones to bring just anyone home. I don't think I've ever brought anybody home. Do two things really good. Making cheese is one of them. I'm still in the middle of wooing, so I'm gonna try to woo her a little bit with uh, what I know. First, we start off with cutting the cheese. So this is called mozzarella curd. It's got the consistency a little bit more than um, yogurt. It's unsalted, it's doesn't, it tastes okay, it's not great. Why don't you help me cut the cheese? Don't be shy. I'm gonna cut it up like that, just little quarter inches. I'm trying to teach her how to cook in the kitchen because she wants to get any of this. She's got to work in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this okay? Yep, you're doing it perfect. Okay. She's actually a great cook. She's, she cooked me uh, cinnamon uh, meatballs and they were amazing. It's a Jewish thing, never heard of them. So we make this at my store at Christmas. We do about 500 pounds in one day, five to a thousand. It depends on how busy it is. Thank you, babe. We're gonna chop it up like that. Can you hand me that bowl, please? Now we're gonna put it in the bowl. In Jersey, we have a really, really, really big bowl. Things come big in Jersey. Rico, at his heaviest and at his skinniest, has always had an ego. Nothing has changed. He has always walked in the room like he is king shit. This girl that I'm dating now, she calls me out on it, but I don't see that it bothers her that much. And it seems like that was like probably one of my better uh, attributes. What we have to do is we have to get hot water from the tap. We add salt. Dump some salt in there, babe. All of that? All of it, all of it. Salt's good for you. She's trying to get me in shape. You put the hot water in here, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, come here, honey. I'm trying to teach you how to make some mozzarella. You know, just so you can never know. You can get, you can woo some Italian guy one day. Mike, is it okay if I put this on the table in the centerpiece? At least when they come in, they have like a yes. Yeah, it looks so pretty. Is that pretty? Atinosa, what? Francesca, your cousin, he's gonna say something about the carnation. What's watch. the matter with the carnation? I know what, because for him, they don't, he don't like the carnation. But that's okay. Leave it there. What? Watch. I'm what you want to bet. He's gonna say something he's such about a that. Pain in my. I <clears throat> know. I know. He's <clears throat> gonna say something. So now what we do is we drain the water. Drain it in. Drain out the salt. Shake it up a little bit. We dump it in. We get the hot water off the stove. We go like 120, 130 degrees. It takes years of actually being able to do it because you're kind of putting your hands in the boiling hot water. Now we go around the rim so it doesn't stick. It is an art. I've been doing this forever. Uh, I think I learned when I was 15 years old. Mix it, you gotta get it together. It's gotta melt together. It's, you know, it's meant to be together. Be careful, because it's really hot, like I said. It's like 100 and something degrees. Uh, 120, 130, I think the melting point is 120. You wanna put your hands in there? No, not really. It's great for the skin. <laughs> I'll just watch this bit. You're just gonna watch this part? <laughs> there you go, it's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. It's perfect just like me. It's amazing. Gotta stretch it out. Gotta stretch it out, just to get it nice and long, so it's the final stretching. I'm gonna make a ball, I'm gonna teach you how to make a ball. Now, here you go. Now you're just gonna go into the middle. Let's go, okay. let's see you do it. Yeah. Keep pushing it inside. Like this? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's still hot. It's still hot. It's too hot for you? No, it's okay. Okay. Do they, so do, do they make mozzarella like this in Israel or no? I don't know. I'm oh, sure okay. they do. Hold they on. have mozzarella you gotta go like there. That. You gotta go, you're going right. And then on the end, we cut the twist. Let's see. Top. And it's a snap on the bottom. Okay. You have to have a strong hand to get that snap. That's the way it seals. So you gotta close mm -hmm. that hole right on the bottom. Very cool. Put it in the water. And this is the best part, when it's nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. Only the cook and special mm -hmm. friends of the cook. 
get the aftertaste much <laughs> like this. How good is it, right? Very good. It's great. You know, it's a new relationship, so I gotta kinda like, I gotta back up a little bit on the whole throwing her into the fire constantly thing. I hope, you know, Rico will take care of her, but I just wanna make sure my brother's taking care of her. Listen, we're tight, we're tight. We okay. made a very simple, oh, Rico, very one. simple pasta. They call it pasta puttanesca, this one, because I don't even know what kind of sauce you eat with meat, without the meat, if it's <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> so I made this one, it goes with everything, all right? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Do you like okay. olives? Yes, love okay. olives. Oh, you love Garlic? Okay. Yes. All right. Oh, you love olives? Do you like okay, capers? Good, good, good. Okay. Alisa. <laughs> <laughs> now you do. Now you do. Say yes, you I do. No choice. You Say no yes, choice. I do. I like it. Love it. Yes, right. I like it. Thank you. Your best is over to mommy. Welcome to in the family. Oh, Thank in the family. You. My nephew is not another son for me. I like miss crazy. my husband here. That's all. I mean, next crazy. time it's with my husband. Welcome. Rico's relationship with my mom is kind of crazy and ridiculous. He is always and will always be, even though he's not the baby, the baby. Ma, you're okay. still number one. Project, you're still yeah. my number one woman, Thank you. for now. Thank you for the number Sooner or later, you. maybe you're gonna, you're gonna get knocked the number two. He's the favorite, and he gets totally babied by my mom. The frisel, it's a dry, all wheat bread. Back in the old day, you don't throw anything away, so they would dry the bread, and the bread would be there. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. So She's game, she loves food. Careful, they'll yeah. fall apart. So that's yeah. tomato, and that's, that's sharp provolone. Like which, okay. The sharp provolone my mom brought from the deli in New Jersey. Oh, cool. So it's Yummy. amazing. You, so you wanna know what's good. wrong with our like Priscilla? The, what? Okay. What I do wrong? All right, Here you maize on top. Olive oil. Olive oil. Uh -huh. That's the way we make. I put olive Lip. oil. There is no olive oil. You were a little bit cheap at the olive oil. What's the um, matter with you? Excuse me. Oh. Maybe, hypothetically. Oh, Let's just say. I purposely yes. didn't put much, so much olive oil. Because. Why would you do something okay, stupid you're like right. that? Because, because, because. I want to tell you why. Because you spend your money to buy those cheap flowers. Uh, oh, Back day. I <laughs> I the horrible. What I do you, what I, do you, I guess in Italy, what is it with the carnations? They use no. It <laughs> no, they use carnations for the it's funeral. It's not, it's not. It's is it true? Carnation is That's a beautiful flower. It's the flower in Italy, it's the flowers for the, flowers for the dead. It's, it's, no. a, it's a funeral of our friendship. We have to okay. learn a different kind of way. I do it. Of life. What are we going to become Jewish? I'll do that. We're about family. Isn't this what everyone's family looks like? I hope not. Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.